Good morning everyone and welcome to another day of Vlogmas. For today I am in Caesarea for breakfast slash lunch because I am hungry. I got, I got spinach and I got peas with the egg again. And I got the same as every other freaking day this week. I just realized you guys I've been here three times this week so yep. All right, everyone, so I am back home from Caesarea. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I did today. I came home and there was a massive mess of garbage I had to clean up from Kim and Sunny, because I guess they were in a, in a rush to go to Korea, so they didn't have time to clean up all their garbage. So I had to do that, which took about an hour or so for me to clean up. But I feel good about that because now I can like actually move around in the apartment and I vacuumed and there was so much hair and dust from all three of us being here. It was crazy. But anyway, for today, I'm just going to stay inside and edit because I was like two days behind on Vlogmas videos because I was so busy and I wasn't even at home. And I tried to edit in cafes and restaurants as you guys saw, but it just, it wasn't um, enough and the Wi-Fi I couldn't upload. So yeah, I'm really sorry that that happened. But anyway, I just had to upload double videos for you guys. But anyways, today I'm going to show you two things because I have packages that I forgot last weekend at Laura's birthday at the bar. Um, I forgot packages there from my shopping that I did when I went out with Taylor. So I'm going to show you guys what I got for Forever 21. So let's do that now. Mm. Life. Alright, so like you saw, if anyone even remembers, like a week ago I guess now, um, I went to Forever 21 with... No, I went out shopping with Taylor that day and I bought shoes at Shibuya 109 but I never showed them to you guys. So I'm finally going to introduce you guys to my shoes now. Unless you watch Sharla's live stream from our Christmas party night, you might have seen them in there. But these are my amazing shoes that I bought from Shibuya 109. Like, look at that. You don't get shoes like this in North America. Or at least not easily and usually they'll be like massive stilettos but these are gorgeous like oh my god stunning like they're extremely tacky but I can't say no to this kind of tacky like this is everything I love beige fur fake suede if the fur is fake also you guys and rose gold rhinestones like I can't oh my life right now is so complete by these shoes. So anyways, I got these because I'm planning for them to be my New Year's Eve shoes. Hopefully, I might back out of that just in case they're a bit too uncomfortable. But I'm going to try to break them in before then. And if I can't, then I might buy new shoes. But I just couldn't say no. So I got these on sale for $75 roughly. So I, it was like a steal. I can't, like, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. They also wrap up around the ankle at the top too, so this is so stunning. Um, aside from my glorious, most magical shoes I've ever bought in my life, I also went to Forever 21 after and I got a few things. I originally went to find a New Year's Eve dress, but I couldn't find one and ended up ordering one on G Market that I hope arrives in time and fits properly, oh god. But I went and I got some workout clothes. So these are just a new pair of running tights for winter. They are the wick away types so that it um, kind of keeps the sweat off your body so you don't get sticky or wet or feel drenched. So yeah, they're just basic black ones. I'm not going to do a try on haul, you guys, because I just can't be bothered. But they're just basic black plain leggings, um, athletic ones, of course, for running, working out. And then I also bought a pair of shorts to go over top of that because I don't always like running in my leggings because you know like camel toe might happen I don't know I don't usually okay TMI but you know you know it's appropriate to cover your private areas sometimes I don't even know what I'm talking about but yeah so I just got these simple running shorts that I'm just planning on putting over top and then they'll be great transition into summer as well yeah really simple just plain shorts then to also go with my running gear for winter, I got a pullover kind of vest, or not pullover, but I got a winter thermal vest to go over top of my shirts. So it's just this right here, so it zips up, no sleeves, 
like that. So it's just something that can help keep me warm but not too warm because I don't want something too heavy that's going to make me sweat too much or overheat but I want something that's still going to keep me warm. Um, mind you, Japan's really mild this year for winter. It's like for example it was only 14 degrees today and it's almost, it's like one week till Christmas. So yeah. And then finally I got one additional thing from Forever 21 which is maybe TMI again, but it is just a bralette. So it's just this sheer lace bra. I know I have guys that watch my channel, but like whatever. I got this bra. This is cute. And I like, I don't like padded bras anymore. The older I get, the more I don't like them. I don't like push-ups. So yeah, I don't know. It was really comfy, so I got it and it was cute and I appreciate the beauty of this bra, so I figured I'd buy it. There's no other reason. But yeah, anyway, that's everything I bought that day from a week ago when I was with Taylor shopping and Lara's birthday. And it is time to change up the smells in my house for Christmas since it is officially one week till Christmas. So here I am going to open up my gold frankincense and myrrh scent that I got from Tokyo Hands right here. So let's do that now. Ooh, that smells really pretty. Oh, too strong. Oh, too strong. I've been waiting to use this one for the final week of December or the last week before Christmas because it's extremely festive smelling. The other ones were all like casual smells. This one's an, a very festive one, I think. Mm. Oh, that smells so nice. Like I love these, I love these kind of scent things, but I feel like they always run out so fast. Like they just evaporate way too quickly. It's kind of disappointing. So I always, I, de I generally put like saran wrap over this part and then stick the sticks through it to kind of like stop it from over absorbing. So I think I'll do that. But yeah, anyway, that is this. Yay. So I don't really know what else to talk about in today's vlog, you guys. I guess I'm going to like end it here because I honestly am just going to edit and try to catch up on vlogs and main channel videos and work because this past week was extremely hectic for me. Um, what did I have? I had Taylor's birthday. Well, first Sunny came over, which was hectic. Or Kim and Sunny came back from Osaka, which was hectic. Then I had Taylor's birthday, which ended up being a full day, full night thing. And then after that was the Christmas party that I had planned. Uh, so that was extremely hectic. It was a full day thing for me as well. And then after that was the next day. And I originally planned to go home, but then Sharla invited me to the... Um, to a agency's um, Bonin Kai, which is like an end, in, end of year party. Um, so I went to that because it was really nice of her to invite me and for them to accept a one plus one. So I went to that and I ended up meeting Eat Your Kimchi, Simon and Martina. And we all chilled together the whole night and went drinking and stuff. So I literally chilled with them and talked with Martina and Simon for a quite a few hours and I think about it and it's so funny because it turns out we live like really close to each other which I found out was really surprising so they knew like my hometown and they've been there and all the towns near me and stuff and likewise vice versa and then they also knew that of course they knew the areas I lived in in Korea and vice versa so we talked a lot about our time in Korea so yeah it was really amazing meeting them and then at the end it was really nice because uh, Martina invited me to her Christmas party they're going to be having at their house on Christmas Eve so I might be going to that as well um, but my friend's going to be here so hopefully he can come too and if not then I just won't go I don't know we'll figure it out yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog for now. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry it's a week vlog today, but Vlogmas is so hard. It's so hard. My body can't take Vlogmas anymore. Vlogmas! Hello and welcome to my ugly bath tub. 
<laughs> don't ask what accent that is, please don't. But anyways, today I am going to be doing the bath bomb that Rachel gave me for Secret Santa. I've been wanting to do this and I wanted to do it at the Airbnb we went to, but there just there was no time. That day was too hectic for me, I had no time. So I'm just going to have to do it in my really unappealing looking bathtub, so yeah, sorry about that. This is what I got. Further ado, let's do it. Wow. 